Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Welcome back to the Melbourne office. If you guys watch regularly, we go between states. And that's why my background looks different for half the time. I'm so excited to be back recording because I actually took a whole week off, which I don't like taking time off filming, but I know it's important too. So I cannot wait to play more Sims. I am so ready for this. I hope I didn't keep you guys waiting for too long. Anyway, get a tea. I'm having a green tea today and enjoy. Simming! Okay, so before we actually go into our gameplay, the other day I did release a build video, building a new house for this Let's Play. So I just wanted to show you guys in case you haven't seen that video, but of course, if you do wanna watch it, I will link it as well. But yeah, this is the new house that I hope our family can save up for because as much as I love the old house, it's on a block that is a little bit too small. We'll go over that once we jump into the family again. And I just feel like we need to expand onto a bigger lot because our family might end up being pretty big at the rate we're going. Also, although I'm not a huge fan of being across the road from like commercial area, at the same time for gameplay, this is gonna be really useful because we can like just go to the splash park and check out all of that stuff and go for walks, which will be really nice. So yeah, this is my plan for the new house. I haven't moved any furniture into here because we're gonna move with a lot of our own furniture. I wanna keep it as realistic as possible. Um, but yeah, the idea for this house is that it's optimized for gameplay routing. So I want it to be very easy for all the Sims to move around. Look at this, look at this blackboard wall. How cute is that? I totally stole that idea from Dr. Gluon, who is an amazing streamer and YouTuber. Uh, we've got this big lounge room and yes, Father Winter is the developer behind this house. <laughs> he's developed it, he's a, he's a businessman. And then we're gonna have a main bedroom here that's quite big so you can put a bassinet, potentially a toddler in there. Big, generous bathrooms to get around in and be bathing toddlers and whatnot. I think the twins will go in this room and then our third baby will go in this room. And then who knows what's gonna happen once we have more babies. I feel like this could potentially be a bedroom over here. And I love this sand pit. This is actually a new item from Growing Together. A lot of people have skipped this item, I think, but it's a really lovely awning. Um, it's $800 if you want to buy it. And then we're going to have a lot of room for the tree house. So it'll be good to rebuild the tree house because then the kids can help build it this time. And then over here, I've just put down some asphalt with the idea that this could be a basketball area or for some other skill building later on down the track. Now, we do have to be very careful with money. Um, at the moment, this is valued at 55,000 simoleons. So we will have to save a little bit before moving here. And I also know it doesn't completely fit in with the rest of the neighborhood, the craftsman look. I would argue this is potentially a bit more of an Australian looking house. It's a little less American. And uh, that's probably because I am Australian. <laughs> so I hope you guys don't mind. Um, but Australia is often a mishmash of different traditional things. All right, so let's jump back into our Oakley family. So we do have three kids now, if you guys are not up to date. We have twins and we just had another baby as well. And I really wanna get started on a fourth baby really quickly because I would like us to have um, some interactions between toddlers and infants. So we need to get cracker lacking pretty quick. And our house is like so cute, but this is the problem we're having. Like this slide literally goes into a wall. Oh! Babel unlocked, nice one, Clover. And a lot of you guys were saying, well, why don't you just like move the house across and then you'll have more room. Like if we just move, you know, the house across to here and then this expands the yard part, which, you know, we could do and stay in this house, but I also just like a change. And you know what? As the generations get older, maybe we can like, when they grow up, they can move back to their family home. I know change is hard, people, but I love it. Oh, Kyle Kyleson, we love him so much, don't we? All right, so where are we at with this? Now, Kyle is dreaming of being a super parent. He needs to discipline his kids. And I always thought that was a negative thing, but it isn't necessarily a negative. You can do things like encourage your kids to do their homework, and that will also be discipline. So let's try influencing to do homework and see if that actually checks off one of the discipline options. And then Yasmin, how are we going? We need to try for another baby. Uh, bye bye. Oh, Clover. Clover's really got their head in the game. 
boom. Okay, that was terrible. But you know, Clover, I, I worry about you over here. I, I really do. <laughs> so let's maybe use the diaper. <gasps> Yasmin's feeling flirty. Yasmin is feeling flirty, everybody. Um, maybe Persephone can go over here, blur a raspberry, entertain, family kiss, do all of those nice, those nice things. Okay, let's see if that influence to do homework did anything. No, it didn't. That is not disciplining. Someone said it would contribute to be a discipline option. Okay, well, this is awkward because I really wanted to woohoo in there. Maybe we can try for a baby with Yasmin in the kids' room, which is really a little bit freaky, but... Yasmin's feeling flirty, okay? It's time. <laughs> it is time. Oh my god, why is there a fire? What? Who started a fire? Where is the... F oh. Oh! Oh my gosh! The baby is on fire! I've never had this happen. I legit just messaged James that my baby is literally on fire. Like, this is crazy. I wondered why he was screaming. Take a deep breath, have a sip of tea. Everyone have a sip of tea. We can deal with this. We are strong. Oh my God, okay. Oh, I can see the baby even more now. Okay, we need to, why am I taking pictures, you sick woman? It said save Clover from fire and I just canceled the option. Save Clover from fire. Surely they're not actually gonna let my baby burn, right? Surely it's gonna be fine. They wouldn't let a baby burn, would they? Wow, that was absolutely crazy. We definitely need to move house now. I cannot believe our baby was on vile. Cheese and whiskers. This is not what I expected to come back to. Do you think it's because the baby was there that the fire started? Wow. First visitor's milestone unlocked. Our first visitor was the fireman because Clover was on fire. This is not a positive milestone. Try to be a little bit more careful next time. Oh, I wanted to thank the fireman, but I think they've already gone. Oh my, Monty? Okay, Monty's dealing with the trauma in an interesting way. It's okay, we all have our, we all have our ways. Okay, where is Clover? Jeez, we need to move house because now this, Poor little Clover. Poor little Clover. Oh, let's just soothe you to sleep. I feel like, are we still gonna be in the mood to get jiggy with it? Or is this like spoiled the mood now? Oh, it looks like they're still keen. All right, we also need to potentially have another slumber party. Cause you guys said that there is a way to get all the kids to go to sleep. I just did not do it properly. So let's get Persephone. I mean, Persephone still wants to tell another story from the sleeping bag and exchange a friendship bracelet. So we could do another sleepover tonight. We can do another slumber party. Now from memory, the kids can't throw the slumber party, can they? Oh, Rose honey, can you please help Clover? I don't know why they put the, why they put Clover on the ground when the bassinet was very comfortable. Oh, let's give them some privacy, shall we? <sighs> also, how much is this house worth actually? Because I wanna know how long until we have to move. 56, what did we say the other house was worth? Was it 66? I've already forgotten. Well, also this includes all of our belongings and furniture in the house, which half of that we will take with us. So. I'm thinking we might need to save even up to 70. Oh, look at Rose, Rose and Clove, very nice. And Persephone's like, I'm just waiting for mom and dad so that I can throw a slumber party again. Actually, Persephone, do you wanna make a friendship bracelet? Maybe a repeating pink hearts, cause we haven't actually done that yet. And I think the sim that you exchange the bracelet with needs to also have made a friendship bracelet. So I don't actually know how easy that's gonna be with sims outside of your household. So we may need to do that with Rose. Wow, look at these relationships in this family. They're like so full. Oh, gonna be making a friendship bracelet. Does that make the fun go up at all? Confidence goes up, awesome. Um, no, it's not really fun to make a bracelet, but it does help creativity, which is good. And our social just increased for Rose because they are playing with Clover. And the romance festival is on. I think we had our own romance festival already. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what? We, we, we do need to feed Clover, I think, before putting them to bed now. I'm a little bit off my game because I've had a week off. You know, we were we were doing very well prior to me taking time off Sims. Also, we should start knitting again. I'm gonna knit something. 
Oh, we can make a oh, we can make a friendship bracelet. That's cute. This is the most expensive thing we could sell. Knit a sweater with a scarf. Oh, cute. Let's let's do one of these. Okay, now let's finally put Clover to sleep here. Then let's take care of ourselves, hopefully. Actually, Kyle, just before you do your knitting, let's get you to plan the sleepover. I wish the kids could just make the calls to plan. All right. Slumber party, I mean, not sleepover. So the host will be Persephone. And Persephone's friends, Maribel, Jayla or Yela, and Alana, and Jamie or Jamee. And then we're just gonna have it at home again. Also, let's maybe replace this because we did get some money. I'm sorry, Kyle. I know I said that you could have some me time, but you can't anymore. <laughs> well, then Kyle's gonna have to repair, repair, repair that too. Now, girls, sleeping bags. I believe we still have them in our inventory. We do. We have the cozy camper. I really wish we could clip them onto the treehouse, but I don't think we can. I mean, if we just put some of these things away so we can clear up the room a little bit for the sleepover. We have one sleeping bag here. Oh, I love this sleepy critter one. Okay, so at least we have sleeping bags for our, for our two. We've cleared up the fire, so hopefully the kids don't get scared. All right, welcome sleepover buddies. Ah, here we go. So the host of the sleepover or slumber party can ask the guests to set up sleeping bags. This is what I did wrong because I don't think I had the host selected. I was trying to do it from the adults maybe, but I do think it would have been helpful if they had put it up here as one of the goals to actually get guests to put out sleeping bags. Oh, and look, they 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 do put them down. Um, it is a little bit of a struggle <laughs> with where they put them. But you know, they, they, they do put them on the ground. There we go. Um, so have Sims chatting at the same time. They make believe, talk about school. How's mommy doing? She's good, she can have a shower. Oh, we have to take a pregnancy test as well. Totally forgot about that. I'm gonna get Kyle to cook everyone something. What do you think they would feel like at a sleepover? Ramen sleepover? Scrambled eggs? Nah. Tacos. Tacos is a fun idea, party size. Oh, of course we need to turn on the music. Turn on the beats again. Americana. Is Mar Americana like country music? This is kind of sad. Honestly, I like kids radio. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. This is a cool sleepover. Hey, don't, don't play in that, Persephone. Praise effort and creativity growth. Now, I do think this will help with confidence. So that's an important one. But the parents are all busy. Too busy to praise. Which is kind of realistic with a big family that it can be harder to give your kids that extra time and attention, I suppose. So they have to build confidence in other ways. Oh, I forgot to change the diaper, whoops. Hey, where do you kids think you're going? All right, everyone, we've got some beautiful, excellent, actually, fish tacos here. Oh, sweetie, I'm gonna put that away, okay? That's that's our expensive laptop. Yasmin is not pregnant, maybe next time? Oh, dang it. Dang it, someone at the front door. Who is this? Tamati, do we even know you, Tamati? Tamati. I don't believe we know Tamati, so I'm gonna not open the door. We have children here to protect. Oh, Tamati does look like a nice person there. All right, we'll, we'll give you a friendly introduction. Imagine just walking past someone and not even acknowledging them. I know Clover is very smelly right now, but I'm honestly just gonna let them sleep. And when they're awake, we'll give them a bath. May as well get their energy up. I really wanna exchange a friendship bracelet. So which of our friends are we closest to other than Rose? I suppose Maribel, where is little Maribel? So can I give you a friendship bracelet? I mean, let's just double check we do have a friendship bracelet, we do. Oh, if I click on the bracelet and I say exchange, oh, we need Rose to have a friendship bracelet. Maybe we're not good enough friends with Maribel yet. I mean, we are friend, but we're not like good friend, okay? Ooh, we're impressed. Oh, Maribel respects us, that's nice. You are my favorite? That's so like toxic. Let's see what happens. Will that make Rose jealous? Although it's going to be outside, so I don't know if Rose will notice. Oh, it 
did actually make Rose jealous. Emotional control just went down. <gasps> Rose got jealous. What? Not the favorite, but but why can't Rose be the favorite? What did she do wrong? Persephone is so focused on, you know, being the slumber party animal that um it's kind of hurt Rose's feelings. All right, let's tell a story about a knight and a unicorn to, to our friends and Rose is gonna be a little left out. Oh, Rose is out here sleeping by themselves. You know what, Rose, how about you just have a shower? Or can can Kyle like console Rose at all? Um, I don't know if there is an option here. Become best friends is nice. Maybe, maybe Kyle can make a friendship bracelet for Rose. This guy should just, we don't even like Tamati. Why are you here? Please leave. We have all these kids here. I mean, maybe he's a parent. Oh, Kyle and Rose have become best friends. Oh, that's nice. Hopefully that'll make Rose feel a little bit better. Oh, hello, that's good. Jamae's uh, introducing themselves. Confidence has gone up. Praise effort and mental growth. I feel like Rose just needs a bit more support. Parenting, we can try the the old influence to see if uh, that helps at all with discipline. And I'm not too concerned about earning gold on this because we've already achieved that before. Maybe we should tell everyone to go to sleep now. Do we click on the sleeping bags? I think I click on Persephone to then ask guests to go to sleep. Get slumber party snacks. Oh, cool. Snacks have been added to your inventory. Okay, I didn't know that was a thing. But let's put out the pizza. That is such a good quick way to get snacks. Okay, what else can we tell our friends to do? We've already told them to set up their sleeping bags. We can say time for bed. All right, well, we'll tell them it's time for bed and they should all hop into their sleeping bags. And that is how a slumber party works, you guys. It does work. I apologize, I didn't realize last time. But again, I think if it just told you to do those steps up here, then there would be less room for confusion. Ooh, we can sell this. It's on Plopsy. Can we list this on Plopsy as well? Oh, it's only worth five. Oh no, it's worth $200. Obviously to list it on Plopsy, it costs $8. Okay, he's influencing to for Rose to have a shower. Did this work? So it's only when a child has done a behavior that needs disciplining, such as making a mess. See, that's what I thought too. Oh, look at them all in their sleeping bags. That's so cute. That is so cute. Where is Clover? Oh good, Clover's up here. Very nice. All right, Yasmin, I know you're trying to get some sleep, but I do want you to do the right thing. <laughs> Wait, did you clean Clover yourself? <laughs> nice. Let's just bottle feed Clover. Grab milestone unlocked. Well, Clover's gonna age up soon and then we're still not going to have had enough time to have like toddler interaction. Love this romper, by the way. I mean, we could pause aging. Oh, love's being held. Here you go. Love this little outfit, by the way. All right, do you wanna use your diaper while you're here? And then we can quickly change you so there's gonna be absolutely no issues with hygiene. See, we are absolute pros now. Rose is going through a phase. Uh oh, she will pick up an instrument any chance she gets, yell and turn up all radios to 11. Oh God, you're sleeping in the bathtub, that is not safe. Um, I feel like this is also a reaction to what's happening between Rose and Persephone. Okay, maybe you can just actually have the bath. That would be good. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, diaper's being used. Change Clover's diaper. Okay, that diaper's being changed. Poor Rose has been up all night. Only toddlers can use this. Oh, my bad. I thought that was a kid's sleeping bag. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, you can't get to that, that's all right. Just go to your regular bed, Rose. All right, put the lullaby on. Now you can go to bed at five in the morning. We love that. Yeah, it's so satisfying when all the guests are in their sleeping bags. Although I feel like one guest isn't. Wait, where's Jemay? Oh, fall, I love fall. Is Jemay in the treehouse? Wake up. Okay, Jemay or Jamie, I'm not sure which way to pronounce it, is up in the treehouse. Well, that's okay. <sighs> We have a house sleeping. Yes, Yasmin can work from home. Yes, our boss was disappointed. I'm sorry, but we will do better today. And we can also sell our begonias. I love how you can say begonia in a really Aussie way. Begonia. Oh, we got gold. Cool. 
Kyle is a legendary host and his party was a capital A awesome. I mean, Persephone was kind of a host. So wow, Kyle. I reckon even though, oh, I don't really want to sell the snowmen because they were from our very first Christmas. <laughs> But maybe we can start selling just things we're not using that much to save for the new house. Uh, this is our new sleeping bag we got and we should probably get some different patterns, you know. Actually, how much do these sell for? 180 is not bad. Not bad at all. Why is there food in here? That's nasty. We can probably get rid of one of these. Nothing makes me happier than everyone sleeping so soundly, although Yasmin isn't sleeping that well. Maybe Kyle should get up just quickly, like use the toilet. Oh, I forgot you have a toilet and shower in here. My bad. Um, and then maybe make everyone some breakfast today. He's such a good dad. Kyle Kyleson, who would have thought? Oh, Persephone's already awake. I mean, honestly, honestly, we have so much food. What did I just say on it? Honestly, I can call everyone to get some cold pizza. Pizza is the best the next day. Usually after having put it in the fridge though. Hey, where'd everyone? Go. Oh, all the kids already went home and we didn't even see them leave. Can we invite Maribel over? Let's see if Maribel will come over again. That's so sad, I didn't see them all leave. Okay, Maribel's gonna come over and that's a great idea because I wanna get us to a stage where we could maybe give Maribel a friendship bracelet. And I love how Maribel is even in school uniform on the weekend, on a Sunday in school uniform with gumboots. Aw, oh, look at this friendship. You are my favorite. Persephone's obsessed with Maribel. Hug. I don't think it'll affect Rose. Oh, Rose, last recess, no one wanted to play with me. This is so sad. Um, Maybe ask other kids if you can join in. I'm sure, you know, there's, maybe you're just not hanging out with the right kinds of kids. Even though you wanna, you know, do what Persephone does, might be good to also find your own friendship group too. Maribel just became good friends with Persephone and I actually think that did affect Rose. I didn't think Rose would notice from inside the house. All right, let's see if we can give them our friendship bracelet. Exchange friendship bracelet with Maribel, awesome. So I guess technically Maribel, if I went into their household, they would not have a friendship bracelet because it's another sim. Like if you want to exchange with them, they always will have one. Yay, let's exchange a friendship bracelet. And you know, this is very hard for Rose because you know, Rose and Persephone have always been each other's best friend, but now Persephone's, you know, really wanting to be that slumber party animal. Cute, and look, now we've got our friendship bracelet. And then Maribel, I guess we can't see it. And wait, let's just see how Rose is feeling. Is this spoiled? Oh, Rose is not feeling very good. I reckon that Kyle should make a friendship bracelet for Rose. Oh, he's got a fear of fire now. Kyle will want to run away and hide from fire and have an increased chance of starting fires accidentally. No, no, Kyle. Also, Kyle is maybe thinking about getting engaged as the next milestone, because they're, they're not married. Wow, that reputation as well. So Kyle, because you know, he does knitting, he can actually make a friendship bracelet. Let's do a rainbow bracelet. I also wanna get rid of this because it's nasty. So he's gonna make something. Hey, Maribel. Well, this is nice. Maribel and Rose can have their own friendship as well. Do you like gaming? I like the outdoors. <laughs> Looks like Rose just befriended a nature enthusiast. Is Maribel into nature? Nature enthusiasts are passionate about natural world sims live in. About the natural world sims live in, which can make them super fun sims to hang out with, especially outdoors. Would you say that Rose likes nature enthusiasts? Sure, 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 sure. Friendship bracelet. Oh my gosh, we can destroy it if we want to. You cannot destroy an exchanged bracelet. You have to wait for it to fall off or demand your original back. <gasps> oh, our large painting has expired. Well, let's just maybe sell it normally. Okay, there is so much cleaning up after a big slumber party, kids. Oh, how's our baby going? They are hungry. Okay, Kyle Kyleson. Actually, no, we'll get Yasmin to just maybe use the loo, breastfeed. Kyle, you should give to Rose friendship bracelet. Oh wait, no, Rose needs to make a friendship bracelet too. Let's get Rose to go upstairs to the friendship bracelet kit and they can make a blue and yellow one for their dad. I want five kids, <laughs> I really do. Wow, she's breastfeeding whilst busting. That is intense. 
go into the toilet with the baby whilst the husband is there. All very realistic. Well, not husband, but... Oh, you make my day so much better. This is so nice. So Maribel and Rose um, are also becoming friends and it looks like they became friends really quickly. That's really sweet. That is really sweet. Happy memories. Maribel is friends with both the twins. Nikki, back to sleepy times. Uh. All right, well, Yasmin does need to do some work today. So after having breakfast, let's maybe get into uh, maybe like a jumper and then we can... Actually, do we have any begonias in our inventory? We have four. Okay, so we can probably sell all of these and then we can use the other begonias that we have to make an arrangement. All right, so let's sell all of these, saving up our money. I will weed that shortly, but first let's do a begonia arrangement. Uh, let's just do a pink. And then it'd be good to get, you know, the kids out riding the bike. So maybe we can go for a bit of a ride with the twins. Rose has done some extra credit work. Love to see it. All right, Persephone, let's um, practice riding your bike. Then Rose, ask Kyle for some help riding the bike. Off she goes. Wee! <laughs> Nice one. They're getting better at it, you know? At first they really struggled. Actually, maybe it's exactly the same. Actually, I think they're doing exactly the same thing as they did <laughs> previously. I'm just being optimistic. But hey, at least they're not like going through the house. This is like me when I ride a bike. I never learned how to ride a bike properly, so I'm a bit weird when I do it. I just sit up really straight and I like can't turn around on the road. Like it's really hard for me to make that corner. <laughs> Uh, sure, we'll have a chat to our dad. Hey, I became friends with Maribel. She's pretty cool. Look at this little, this little group that's forming. Oh, come on, Kyle. This is because he's afraid of fires. He's starting fires more easily now, which is just gonna make him more afraid. And it's just gonna be this vicious circle. Yasmin's like, Kyle, for goodness sakes. I mean, the kids are okay. They're out here. Oh, is that Jamie? Or oh, Jamie? Oh, good Lord. $880, do we even want to replace that? Like, I don't know, I can just get rid of it. <sighs> Keep the insurance money. Oh, DJ, hey. Oh, can we have a chat to DJ about how hard it's been for the kids? Like everyone's good except Clover did catch on fire the other day and now Kyle's traumatized. And I mean, we should probably be traumatized as well in all fairness. Oh, did this sell? We need to send that out. Oh God, he's out here clutching the baby. The babies are okay. <laughs> A ship on Plopsy. Ah, oh, Rose has actually learned how to ride a bike. She can now ride around and travel on any child-sized bike. So if we just stop this interaction, because I think this is still the learning animation, let's just try riding around on it instead and see what happens. Ah, look at this! I know it's dark, so it's a bit hard to see, but now the confidence has gone up and Rose is doing monos! Whoa! That's really cool. Oh, Arnie, little doggy. Wait, Arnie, are you okay? Oh yeah, they're, they're not stray, they are owned by someone. And Persephone is now also riding around like a pro as well and tooting the horn. Are you sure that Arnie's okay over there? <sighs> okay. All right, girls, it's actually pretty late. Do you wanna maybe come in and get some rest? <laughs> Oh, got a little bit of burping here. Oh, that's nice. That's nice, Clover. Clover really hasn't um learnt any murder skill milestones and they like age up in a day. So that's slightly unfortunate. I guess we haven't been, I, I mean, I thought with Clover, we would absolutely slay everything, but it hasn't really happened. How dare you put me down? The warmth and comfort is absent. Oh. All right, we can list this on Plopsy. So we've fulfilled our work duties. And then I do want to tend to the garden. And I also think maybe it's time we think about Kyle if he does want to go into the workforce um, because he is getting a little bit stressed at home and it might help that trauma of his baby catching on fire to get out the house a bit more. It's just my thoughts. So getting that gardening skill up, so that is great. Why is this guy always here? Please leave. DD, tell him to go home. Okay, everyone's in bed, and then tomorrow, or today, we start a fresh week. Oh wait, Kyle's not in bed. Wait, who's in bed? 
Oh, that's cute. Rose is in bed with mom. Oh, well, Kyle maybe can sleep on the bunk bed. He's not sleeping too well at the moment, which is pretty fair. Oh, rebate day. Now, would, today would be a really good day to move actually, because then we could get some rebates on some new things. That would be really awesome. All right, kids, time to get up, have your breakfast and get ready for school. I love when they have cereal before school. Now the girls are at school. Let's have a little bit of tummy time at last on our final day of being an infant. And you know what? I don't mind that we're a little bit far behind on the milestones because then we get to see what happens when we age up and if that affects or how much that affects our confidence. So we have been able to lift our head, um, but we haven't been able to roll over or crawl yet. The girls working hard at school as well. Roll over to back unlocked. That's pretty good. Not bad. Let's do a little bit more tummy time. All right, well, let's just pick those. We've got seven so we can sell all of the rest. Here we go, beautiful. And you know what? We might be getting enough money to move in the next part, which would be super exciting. Um, and then we'll make a flower arrangement. We're feeling pretty sad as well, probably because we're not fulfilling our wants and dreams. Yeah, because we haven't really done any of these for a couple of days. We'd like to mentor some, some homework and get a promotion. Well, we can definitely do that. Also just shipping that painting on Plopsy. Oh, I forgot about these. Whoopsie doopsies. Damn it, I think those were like full blown begonia plants. No. I wasted them. Oh, well, we can plant more. Ooh, grades are up. Yeah, school's out for the day. Rose is a B student. Persephone is a B as well, but that's really good. I am thrilled to hear that. Welcome home. Praise efforts. Why can't we praise Rose? Hey, what? You can't praise Rose? Are you kidding me? That is, that is so mean. Why is Persephone always the favorite? <laughs> Whatever, poor Rose. Let's help um, Rose fulfill a couple of things. Rose would like to stargaze. Can we stargaze during the day? No, only available at night. That does make sense, doesn't it? Feeling angry? Where's my attention? Pay attention to me. I do not blame you for feeling that way because I feel that way for you. Is it because of Yasmin not giving them attention? Yeah, wow, this is crazy detailed. Rose is feeling ignored and overshadowed by her sibling because Yasmin keeps giving Persephone more attention. Why is that? Is that because Kyle gives more attention to Rose? I mean, I don't think it's a deliberate thing, but can we actually speak to Yasmin about that? Because that is, that is unfair. Like I felt that was unfair. I feel like you guys know that was unfair too. So can we speak, you know, discuss the angry mood? And then maybe you can help Rose do some homework. I mean, Rose is trying to speak to their mom about feeling ignored. Jasmine's gonna sit down with Kyle sleeping behind them. Why are you angry? Like, don't be angry at Rose. Okay, we need it. let's, I don't know. I feel like Rose just did not receive that well because Rose is too worried. I mean, not Rose, Jasmine is too worried about themselves. Maybe you need to like talk to Kyle. Oh wow, worry about baby development? That's such a like deep thing. Did not expect to see that. I was just gonna, like I wanted them to discuss about Yasmin not feeling like she was achieving her wants and dreams, but I can't find that in this new pie menu. Discuss interests? I wanna discuss wants and fears. Achieve a gold slumber party event. We've achieved it twice already. Oh, we need to have another slumber party. Oh, yay, we've sold another painting. That's good. All right, let's get Rose to stargaze now that it's 9.30 at night. And I do want to see how Clover ages up. I think they're going to age up not as a very secure toddler. <laughs> or not going to age up into a very secure toddler. And I wonder, they'll probably get a, excuse me? Are you a vampire that's just come in? Please go home. <laughs> Why are these Sims coming into our house? It's very unnerving. Yes, you are a vampire. We'd rather you not be here. Ooh, I was just thinking maybe we could grow bonsai because that's where the 191 small ends. We could grow a bush, hey? I just let out order that real quick. And yeah, we didn't really get to do rebate day because well, we haven't moved and that's when we need to really buy stuff. I mean, we could try and quickly move and in the next part, like buy everything. Let's maybe see if we could afford it. 
Let, let me just save the game, okay? And then I'll grab roughly the furniture we would want to take with us. So it'll deduct it from us selling our assets. Um, and then that way we can see if we can afford the house yet or at least see how far off we are. I'd love to keep like all of this furniture because this is all like classic. The guitar our dad made us, TV that we saved up for, toys, the Murphy bed. I don't think we'll actually have room for a guest house. TBH. I guess we could take the slide with us, although we already have another slide. Can we take the pole? Oh, we can take the pole. <laughs> And of course we would take all our plants with us too. Okay, I've put everything we'd want to keep in our inventory. Let's see if it's possible we can move house. I feel like we're not there yet. Oh, we're so close. We're only $6,000 off moving in. I mean, obviously we're not gonna have all the furniture we need to move in, but at least we could move in, you know? $6,000 off. All right, so we're not gonna be able to get those rebates, unfortunately. And also I just packed up half our furniture. <laughs> well, look, it's realistic that we are in the process of moving. So I feel like if we just have a few limited things in the room, that actually kind of does work for us. I'll just put a few things back. Now I'm gonna keep most of this packed away. So I think we need to get to 14,000 simoleons to be safe. Um, let's also age up little Clovey here. Oh, hello, delivery. That's our plant to plant. Okay, we've got the groceries here. We are kind of living in chaos right now, which is so realistic when you are moving house. <laughs> By the way, can we just appreciate this outfit? Kyle also emptied the groceries. Oh, the grocery deliverer is gonna be here to stay. Oh, the bonsai is only worth 35 simoleons. How come it costs so much to buy? We totally got ripped off. I didn't think bonsai was worth that much. Rose just noticed a media is heading right for her. She should take cover. Cheese and whiskers, Rose, get out of here. I mean, is that serious? Is there really gonna be a media? I don't think so. I think Rose just got scared. Good Lord. Also, Yasmin just reached cooking level 10. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize we were near level 10. Okay, let's get Clover to blow out these candles. Sorry, Clover, you are kind of neglected a little bit. We started off strong, but we forgot about you along the way a little bit, but we promised to make it up for you. We're getting to the stage now where our family is just a little bit crazy. <laughs> Clover has earned a bonus trait. Oh, that looks positive. Bonus trade. I wonder what we will get. Oh, feeling independent. That is fantastic. That means, yay! Clover has Yasmin's hair. Oh my gosh, and freckles. Clover. I was hoping Clover would look more like Yasmin because the other two looked so much like Kyle. That's really cute. Oh wow, they still aged up as a top-notch infant, even though they didn't really get through all of those milestones. Already acquired the movement skill, cool. And what's our bonus? Was it bonus skill? I mean, we've got quite a few. Very good. Well, I, I thought it really wouldn't go that well, but it's gone very well. All right, Rose, you should probably get some sleep. You need to get some sleep. And then what's up next for you? You need to sleep in a tree house for six hours, achieve level five mental skill. Um, and Clover's actually in a pretty good mood. Good appetite revealed, okay. And a messy eater, okay, that's all right. Oh, you know what I would love to do? I'd really love to try again for a baby. Because how long will we be an infant for? How long will we be a toddler for? For seven days, we could, we do have enough time to have a baby. If we age them up to infant right away, we could we could still see how it went, you know, with toddlers and infants. Oh no, because they ate cake. They 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 want more sugar. <laughs> okay, let's see. Did we get anywhere this time? Is this the time we're pregnant again? Let's see. How do we go? Oh, we want to speak to the. We want to flirt. <gasps> we want to flirt with another man whilst we're pregnant. Oh no. Guys, can you see this? Yasmin wants to flirt with the fireman. We are having marital problems. I mean, we also want to have a child, so we're in, we're going in this step in the right direction and get some sleep, that's easy. I mean, I am shocked because I never thought Yasmin would be like that. Sims are just seeming like they're not very faithful or monogamous these days. 
Is that just me? It's just not as popular to be monogamous as a sim anymore. I mean, I'm very excited about the baby. We haven't even told Kyle yet. Sheesh. Oh wow, we're already using our potty. This is so sparse. Because we're independent. All right, you guys. Well, I think I'll finish this part up here because I've been filming for about an hour and a half. Um, of course, it'll be edited down a little bit for you guys. But hopefully we can... In the next part, move to our new house. Let me know if you think Yasmin should have an affair. I don't know, it's controversial. These things happen. I don't make the rules. <laughs> I literally control my sims. Thank you so much to my members for your support. And if you're waiting for a members video, I did have a week off, but I'll be back this week. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I can't wait to speak to you all soon. Duck, duck.